I've been an Evernote user since uh, quite an early day, I think 2011. But what I wanted to do in this session is literally give you some of my thoughts on what I think Evernote's gonna do in the next six months. I 100% believe that Evernote in the next six months will launch a task manager. Either attach on, so it will either be attached onto the service as like an embedded tool inside it, or it will be a separate service completely. And what that task manager will do will basically round up all of your kind of checklists, uh, information inside your Evernote notes and actually make them into one task manager. So that it's like a it's like a whole different experience using that versus having to create a note with lots of ticks in them and then remember where that is in your inbox and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. That was me back in 2015 talking about a few of my own Evernote predictions. Now at the time, Evernote was growing in features and it would have been pretty well placed to have launched a task management application, but it wasn't to be. Six years later, they are now today releasing Evernote tasks, allowing you to manage tasks inside of your Evernote account. In today's video, we're gonna give you everything that you need to know about the new task ability in Evernote. So if you're brand new, welcome. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. We dive into plenty of these sort of productivity apps and tutorials that you'll need to know. So as you can see here, I'm on my Evernote account. This is actually the beta version, so it won't maybe look as uh, fine-tuned as the final version, just to state that up front, this was pre-filmed. But as you can see, you now have a new area called tasks. Now you can actually create tasks inside of your note and through this window. So I wanna show you firstly how this new tab works. So as you can see here, you can go ahead and create a new task up here. If I press here, um, as you can see, I can start to create a task and it will automatically be associated to a new note called things to do. Now this is pre-created and it's just basically to get you started. So once you add a title to the task, you can set a due date as well. So for example, in this case, I might set this as a today item. Once I press a due date, I can also add the time as well if I want to, but you can see there, you can set a reminder or flag it, which basically means to prioritize it. Now once I'm happy with that, let's go ahead and flag it. I'm gonna go ahead and press create. So as you can see here, it's automatically been associated to this things to do note. And this is what it looks like inside the note. Now I'll come back to this in a moment because this is actually how a new note and new task operate. But you can see it in this window at any given time, a little bit of a pop out here and it can sort it by note, by due date. So for example, today by flagged, um, which is either active or, or not active, which is all helpful. And down here you can create a brand new note. Now what's nice is you can go ahead and add a new task to the things to do note here without having to re-enter it and go back in. And you can sort this based on the title date created for this and you can even set it as a pin to top of notes tab. So up here you can search for tasks, which means you just narrow down this list and you can also filter them up here based on whether they've been completed, the due date, the actual location, and the user that's created them. Up here as well, you've got a range of options. For example, you can view options for notes, uh, tasks that were created with notes that were shared with me, ones that were completed, ones that show notebooks, etc. So that's quite handy um, when you're just trying to uh, make this look a little bit slimmer and easier to do. So let's go ahead and create a new note. Let's call this project A and add a few tasks and let's show you how that works inside of a note. So to add a new task, you can go up to the top left hand corner and there's a new media element here called task. Now, as you can see, the task appears in this sort of grayed out box. Firstly, I really like this. It reminds me of the task abilities that you can add inside of Ample Note. So let's go ahead and add a basic task. So what you can do is you can do all the regular stuff that you did before. So due date, reminder, flag, and delete. And you can also open up this in task details which means that you can delete the task if you didn't want to or move it to another project if you find it relevant. Now, once you click off, it actually hovers. It's this sort of like its own little sort of block to some extent, very similar to what it looks like inside of Notion. 
but not um, as sort of uh, obvious and uh, database driven. Now up in the top right corner, you can see how many tasks have been completed, which is nice because if you're inside of a preview of a note, then that means you can see whether a task has been done or whether these tasks doing. So going back to this view, you can see right here that uh, I've got project day and they're starting to separate them out from the notebooks. And if I click into the notebook, I can find that pretty fast. Now, one thing you can do is you can see the due dates and let's say I had this one set as the next week, then you can start to see you've got today and next seven days and assumingly you'd have the month ahead all planned too. So Evernote aren't trying to build a task manager per se inside of this application. This is an assistant experience to the actual the basic tasks and checklists you can create inside of Evernote. And what's really nice is they haven't just added this inside of the notes. They've made this a preview window so you can actually work out what tasks you have inside of each note without having to individually go into them, which was one of Evernote's major problems when it came to being able to plan a project in there or being able to coordinate bits of information for other people to work on. The one thing they haven't added in the beta is a new widget for this, but I do assume they will add this at launch as you can imagine, probably coming on the roadmap very soon, just to be able to view your tasks here would be quite a neat little option. So in my opinion, this isn't revolutionary, but it's a great step forward for Evernote. In my opinion, they seem to be delivering on their message of getting out new features. And uh, as Ian said, this might play into the long-term benefits of using Evernote. It's something that I've wanted for a while and I'm glad Evernote have added it. Whilst I probably won't be using it myself, I think it's a great addition for those who use it for checklist management and planning light projects. So folks, hopefully you enjoyed today's feature. It was just a short overview of how the tasks work in Evernote now. You can download the update and I believe this will be rolling out. I'll include more details about that below because it's not officiated yet. So I'll just put it in the description below. Anyway, folks, a huge thank you. It'd be great to have you here as a subscriber. So please hit the subscription button below and the bell notification if you want to get regular features on this. Please share in the comments too. What do you think of this new feature? Will you be using it? Won't you be using it? I would love to hear. Thank you very much and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.